We're off to the races. We're gonna go look at an aquaponics store. We're here. Are you ready? All in one piece. It's rock and roll. <laughs> We really learned a lot, changed kind of the whole idea of how we were doing yeah. this. We are going to do a bell siphon system, and then we learned that those aren't reliable. It works really well as having a flow system. It sounds like for our area, I suppose in different areas it might be a little different, but yeah, we learned true. in our area we should just have the water moving all the time. We first, we were going to cut the tanks in half and do two grow beds, use our bigger tank for our water sub for the fish, but then we ran across a guy. In the garden section of Walmart, yeah. he's up on a ladder, and he got so excited about about his aquaponic system. just lit up over it. If I could take my entire garage and turn it into an aquaponic system, I would. This used to be really cool. We used to have, our gray water used to come in here and like feed three basins here. And mom had trees and we had all kinds of stuff here. Over the times it's become this, a wasteland. <laughs> he would do a pipe, fill it halfway up with the water, running water, and then he would do holes in the pipe which the bucket would set inside the pipe. So that you only need enough rock to fill each container that's inside the pipe instead of filling it all up. The first thing we're gonna do is run out and see what kind of piping supplies we have just laying around. And we know we have a lot back there and it's a larger pipe too which would be perfect for something like this. And I think each one of these are like 20 feet long. If we can somehow connect four of them together and run them down and then empty them out or run them in some sort of V pattern. And it seems like those bigger systems, although nice, they use a lot of rock. Rock should be like the least expensive part of the project, but it really was turning out to be the most expensive and part of the project. And I would imagine it would be way easier to clean a system that has piping, because then you just pull all the plants out, scrub it out with your hand or whatever. Mm -hmm. It would be probably good. Sub tanks over here, either two separate ones or one sub tank here, and then we run pipe along this way. Along that pipe, we'll be able to walk along and be able to tend the different things from that sub tank over there. We were planning on putting it indoors, thought that would be the safest place for it, but both the guy at the aquaponics shop who's been doing this for a long time and the guy up on the up there high in Walmart. The ladder's <laughs> been also doing it. They both said absolutely outside. Yes. We're planning on putting another tank here later on. We might as well put both tanks in now. This system suddenly got massive, but that's cool. The guy said at Walmart, he said, I put them in and it just gets too hot. And he had to end up putting an air conditioner in his greenhouse, which would be absolutely <laughs> cool ridiculous. And we even said, we're like, what happens if it snows? And he goes, oh, that's perfectly fine. They're in the city. They're a little bit lower elevation yeah. than us. They're not really getting the cold temperatures that we are, but both of them really felt like yeah, that did. was. The guy at the uh, aquaponics store recommended using a grinder and a cutting blade, which actually turned out really well. It cuts the plastic like you cannot believe. It gives a beautiful edge. The thing yeah. about that area, it's a large area. We could really expand out there if it works. We have a big green tank back there that could become a big sub for us. So this is gonna go like this for that side. I'm also gonna glue something on the inside too. How's that look? Looks good. When you're walking right here, see that'll be a nice little level you'll be able to see your fish and your garden will start right there. Get online and start looking up this stuff. It's so overwhelming, all the different information that's available. Try to keep it as simple as we can and just move forward with our little experiment and yeah. hopefully it'll work great and we'll keep growing onto it. It's gonna be awesome. I did some research on the aquaponics system, found out that I should probably put a solids filter on the back of the aquaponics system to filter out any solids that might fall to the bottom of the tank. We have our two main reservoir tanks for our fish. This is gonna be a tank that's gonna set right in the back of it. All it's gonna do is suck water from the main tanks into the top of the barrel. The top of the barrel is gonna have a five gallon bucket to disperse the water a little bit better in the tank to allow the water to settle. And at the top of the tank, there's gonna be an exit which will go out to water the plants. And at the very bottom, we're gonna add an exit just to clean it out as kind of a backfill filter so that we can turn it on and wash out the filter and turn it off. 
So I was doing some research and it turns out that if you just have tanks plus your gravel system for your plants, then what would happen over time is your pump would suck up solids from the bottom of the tank. That would be anything like manure from the fish or rocks and things that might fall in there. Your gravel bins will slowly start to build up a bunch of sludge in the bottom of the gravel pins and it's just not good. Over a long period of time it can be a problem. The idea is to try to filter out all the solids before it gets filtered out in our, <laughs> in our plant area. <laughs> Hi there! Luna! 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 Hi there! This is the piping that we're going to use to go down there to grab the, uh, the nutrient water is how they call it. Would I water plants with that then? Yeah. And it's ready fertilizer. It's not hot. Like, oh. You can pour it right on a plant. The plant will use it. Well, this is where I'm going to build the foundation. This is where the barrel is going to go. So, how's that look? Looks good. It looks wedged in there just right. I'll be just like that. It's an instrument. So this can go on the end of here, obviously cut off, but it'll go on the end of here like this. And the gut flows out of the bucket, and then you shut it off, and that's our filter clean. I can actually turn that in a small bit of an angle, like that if you want. Sure, so then you can walk. Get in here, and get in okay. here if you have to. We're gonna put this piece in. It has holes in the bottom. It's to help drain it all evenly in the bottom when we need to get the solids out. That actually will work. You can get some pretty low voices in here. It's kind of fun. That's really far off the bottom, but I'm planning to get like a foot of solids in there before we have to empty it, so. They're the perfect length. All right, so my eye holes are done. I can now see two cameras. Why do I see two cameras? This is all you had to see through. You could really focus hard on a lot of stuff. Don't fall in. I'm falling. I'm falling. I'm falling. I'm falling. All right, is the pooper stooper snooper Ooh. gonna sit there? Okay. The pipe's gonna go out like that, and then up. And it's gonna go into the tub. There. Okay. One will go in here. One will go in here. Okay. Any doo doo that goes to the bottom. Uh huh. From the fish. Or not just doo doo. It could be anything. Could be anything. anything could be sinks to the bottom. Anything that sinks to the bottom. Oh, this will suck up. It will then take it to the solids filter, okay. which will then allow it to settle. Okay. So all the solids should fall to the bottom. Uh -huh. The idea is to keep our system clean of any solids that might get in there. Because if any solids get in our piping, it's gonna clog our piping up. No, we don't want that. A tank like this. Yeah. Will allow us to go years and years and years and always be able to just clean it out right there and not have to worry about all the rest. Well, just got a few more corners to put on there. Once the corners are done, we'll be doing great. And then a five gallon bucket still has yet to go in there. Perfect. So this piece is actually a really important piece to making this whole, whole filter function. It goes down like this and it sits around these pipes like that. And what that does is when the water falls in this pipe, it's forced to go down and kind of settle before it comes back up and out the pipe again. We have ordered a pump and then when we get that pump, we'll get it installed on here. Our neighbor, Mark, I told him about our aquaponics system. So he's like, you know, I actually have something that might work kind of good for that. So I have 150 of these and I think that this might work really well. Let's go see. Like if it's setting in the pipe like that, water can get around it. We might want to put a few more holes in here. I think those might just work. So we'll put rock in here, our growing medium of some kind. Be right in there, in there. And what's cool about that is that's a hole saw size oh, bit. Oh, right. So you go zip, 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 and just drop them in. Anyway, wow. kind of cool. Yeah. Plan is to use these T posts as posts to hold up our piping. We're gonna do one every five feet. So that's basically our height. Okay, I got all of the posts in. Now it's time to put the bracers in the center here to hold up the pipes. So they're gonna go down it. Yeah. 
that. Maybe, do we need something solid or could we use a cable or a rope? We got cable and we've got barbed wire. Who's oh, making that noise? We've got a wild cat around here. Hi, Keo, what's up? Oh, it's Keo? Hi! Keo, what are you doing? What are you doing, kiddo? Oh, the dog? Yeah, I know. He's kind of irritating, isn't he, baby? Hi. Will those work? Oh my gosh. Those already have holes on them. That's a little long, I think. We could try taking this, like drill like a hole through here, and then drill like a partial hole here. Oh yeah, now that's it. That's easy peasy. Me on. Yeah, that's just perfect. Then he can raise this and lower it based on where he wants it and tie it and stuff. That's perfect. We're almost done. We've got a few things to do. I'm going to kind of bend some of these like that. And that will be kind of that way. Get dusty. We're looking nice, yeah? Something like that. Because right in here is where I was planning to put the corner. It's pretty much level. They can all go down. I decided to use this fiberglass repair kit on binding these two pipes together, but I realized that the resin might be a problem with the fish. People build wooden fish tanks and they make and they cover the whole fish tank with it, and, and they're like, I've never had a problem. I think we'll be okay. Bryson asked for rubber gloves, but unfortunately the only rubber gloves that we have that are full rubber are these. Bryson, I brought you some red rubber gloves. Red? Yes, bright, fiery, hot rod red. Good, because I, I needed Duke gloves. Yeah, you got manly gloves. On the fiberglass kit, recommended to wear gloves. Okay, like, ah, I'll be good. I just won't spill any, I'll be good. Yeah, no, I recommend wear gloves. <laughs> Maybe not these gloves. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> We're really excited about the aquaponic system. It's been something that we've been wanting to do for a, a really a long, long time. When we had our rainwater barrels, and I really like those because we put the floats on and it would regulate how much water was in the self water. The problem is with all those rainwater containers gone now, I don't really want to do self water because I don't want to water my self water. So, <laughs> right? So it was time to move on to the aquaponics. That look kind of nice, doesn't it? Yeah. We came up with a strategy for saving water in the desert, and one was the self-water containers, and the second was all of the mulch basins and trying to slow down water when it came to try to keep as much on the land. as Just a few minutes, this will harden. That's so weird. Sweet. Cool beans. You're finally getting a chance to do, which is the aquaponics. And it, yeah, it's about 90% savings on water. Slowly getting it piece by piece. Oh, wow, okay. It looks awesome. I hope it'll work. Oh, oh you got him! There you are. Wow. All the bins. Is that going to be perfect? Yeah, they really are. Okay, here we go. That's all. We're not only going to be growing vegetables, but we're going to be raising meat as well with the fish. When we first moved out to the property, we wanted to be milking goats, we wanted to be having eggs, and we wanted to raise our own animals to process. So I love That's the exciting. idea of fish because processing animals isn't really that much fun. Fish are a little easier than most. You know, they kind of just go, <laughs> how are you going to get attached to them? We will get fish designed for meat eating purposes, okay. and we will know they will be for meat eating purposes. But you can raise a lot of fish in a yeah. very small area. Most people in the world eat meat. We have some vegetarians obviously out there as well, but to actually have to process your own, that's, that's a... That's a tough one. Mm -hmm. That takes that's a certain fun. special kind of grit that I don't think we possess grit. that grit. <laughs> so let's hope that we can process the fish. I think we're going to be able to do it. I think it. we'll be able to do it too. Ta-da! Now that's a hole. It goes in there like that. These unit seals are pretty amazing. And then this pipe presses into that one, but uh, that takes muscle power I don't possess at the moment. Position number My two. minion cup. There it was, innocently sitting on the counter. And now he's gonna put some soap on there with some water. 
Not easy to do. Tighten it off the pedestal. A little bit different angle on this thing, huh? Really I am mourning about. that cup. That's what's happening. She's very upset about me taking her cup. <laughs> I and just don't understand. Like, you? Come in. Whoa, did it go in? Yes. Whew. A lot of work, isn't it? Yeah, it's been a lot of work holding this camera, yeah. I'll say. We are gonna slap some paint on these little suckers, keep them from deteriorating. I know we had some folks over on our Twitter say, oh, careful with the plastic, it'll deteriorate. We absolutely agree with you. That is why we paint all of our plastic that's gonna be sitting out in the sun. But these guys, we got some green paint, so it'll kind of blend in a little bit. I'm holding it because I need someone to push on the other side of that barrel so that there's less pressure on the pipe. That's it. Thanks. All done with the piping in. Did you do the other side? Yeah, actually the other side's pretty oh, cool. Oh, let's go look. Right now we can look what it is, so. I have yet to fiber cross everything in. Okay. But this will be where the pipe sets. The water should flow over this edge and down into this one here. Oh. Now I'll fiber glass this end of it to seal it. Sure. I won't even tell you what's been happening like at looking. Mark's when I walk over there. That fish gets so excited. He knows he's going to Oh, no. <laughs> no, don't tell us that. <laughs> don't tell us that. <laughs> so let's just not worry about that. Yeah. Ignore that statement. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be fine. We end up with 50 fish. Can't get rid of us. Single one. <laughs> maybe we'll go in the fish selling business. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I might have to code that a couple more times. Definitely gonna try growing some sugar cane. When we first moved out here, I was very excited about sugar cane, and I bought one off of eBay, and I had it shipped out here. It's growing, it was growing over there. And we had adopted one of those wild donkeys. She reached over the fence, plucked it up, and one gulp, it was gone. Don't best mention. bite of food she's probably ever had and will ever have in her yeah, entire life. I wish you the best of luck with your sugar cane. I no more help. donkeys, so I think we're, we're good on that. So to test for leaks, we're gonna fill the pipes with water. I mostly want to make sure that there's no leaks in this pipe. What? Oh man. Alright, well that's a patch job. No, there's... I spilt water, so hard to tell. I think we're good here. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Obvious hole. Had a few <laughs> leaks, so the cool thing about fiberglass is you can just come back and patch it. We had a few leaks. Maybe just a couple. Let's take it here. This dog is all limbs. It's, I don't know what this dog is. You see, is he's not dog? growing to the size look, we thought he would. Look at this thing. All what limbs, is this? Hands, all limbs on deck. Oh, is, is he, he even a, dog? Is he a Are sweetie? you even dog? This is, this is mom's dog. The parts came uniseal here and aquarium grade silicone. And this is the pump. Oh, it looks so beautiful. It's so, a different pump system than we were originally gonna do. Yeah, we were originally going to get a water pump, like everyone else, you buy a water pump to pump the water around. Then you have to also get an air pump because oxygen needs to be in the system. All right, let's, so let's go install it. And by the time you're done with that, you end up spending a lot of money in pumps. So you get a water pump, you get an air pump. And then the one we looked at had a pump, and I think he had two or three air pumps. And I remember back when I was like 10, and I had a little fish tank out here, and I yeah. was experimenting with some aquaponic systems. I used a little air pump for a little fish tank, and I put that inside of like a quarter inch PVC pipe, yeah. and was able to pump it up and fill the bell siphon up. What was so cool about that is one pump, it aerates the water and pumps all the water. But when the air comes up, it kind of carries the water. Carries the water with it. You'll hear. I like that. that. <laughs> Waterfall and. <laughs> exactly. Love it. I like this plan. I'm very excited about it. What will happen is there's going to be an airline right here. It's going to enter in somewhere right here and go up that way. So let's go ahead and uh, get a hole for it. Perfect. Almost a foot from the bottom. I have a zip tie. And we'll zip tie it all the way up. Water could potentially go down the pump. So to prevent that, we're gonna go up real high, all the way up to here, and then the water will have to travel up through this entire tube to get around the edge. If that ever does happen, it will act like a siphon. It's all done? Well, mostly. It all works out. Then, uh... If water level gets to about here somewhere, so our plants are gonna kinda be deeper in the pot. 
but that's okay. They can be deep. One of the last supplies we need for this, the rock. Hey. Hey. Lots of rock. Let's go unload them, yeah? Yeah, go for it. Oh, here, guys, and help. While testing out the aquaponics system, I realized the air pump was getting mighty hot. I figured I needed to install a fan in there, so I went out to the junkyard and found this old microwave and pulled the fan out of it. This guy turns on <laughs> and it blows across the pump. The cool thing about this particular fan is it runs off 120 volts right off this. It's a reliable fan. Not enough to blow your hair back. It really blows me away. That's all I gotta say. Let's go put it on. One of the beneficial things about doing the pipe system is you use less gravel for your grow bed. We found out doing the ones with the barrels where you cut them and you flip the tops over and you fill the whole top up with growing medium, it can get really expensive. Now we'll be able to get our fish, we'll get our plant, and we'll get going. Yeah, it'll be really fun. We're gonna head back to the aquaponics store and hoping to get some fish. I don't know if we will or not. We brought a sample of our water. We could test it. I did take a sip of it because I was curious. You did? The flavor was beautiful. <laughs> it tasted kind of sweet. So, which is a good sign, I hope. Maybe it was the sweet glue you used. I, I think it had the same thing. I think Bryce would be those people in the movies that would like pick up something well, and be like, yes, it's poop. Here's <laughs> Probably looking at getting tilapia. We got 40 fish, 20 for each container, and we got some uh, seeds as well to plant. Well, I still hear it running, the system. Good. We need to check the water and stuff first, but my plan was to put one of these buckets just in here, not in the water yet, but just to get them used to the temperature. These fish and this whole system's fine, but really the reason why I went is look at the Oh, yeah. I don't want to show that I paid a fortune for it. It was too cute. Look at my little piggy. Oh my gosh. Everybody keeps saying I need a partner for you eat. <laughs> There's a lot. We got sample stuff, pH testing, nitrate testing. I got a bag of fish food and uh, some more stuff for testing. I hope these little guys are going to be good. Swim out. Oh, they are. That is all of them. Wow, you can hardly even see them. Next bucket. There they go. Enjoy your new home, fishies. They're already down there in the PVC pipes. This water is warm too. So it begins. storing and watering our vegetables in the veggie sink. The, you are technically rinsing veggies, kind of. Bryson got all it in now, we're ready for plants, so we all got together and everybody was planting their favorite thing. Shay had her veggies and I had some strawberries I wanted to plant. I was looking for okra and rutabaga. Yeah? And we didn't have any. So. Will they grow more olives? <laughs> An Ollie tree! I think he is planted. We're gonna figure out what's gonna go where. We're very grateful that Bryson has the opportunity to put together his project. It's been kind of his dream, and we got all excited to be a part of what he does. He's always volunteering on our stuff, you know? Yeah, we were happy to finally help him on his. Professional technique for getting dirt. The plants that had the roots, we had to get all the dirt off of them, mm -hmm. and we had to mm -hmm. wash all that out. She's ready for a rinse. Yep, are we going in, Red Leader? Yeah, further I think. I think Bryson's excitement too is just wearing off on all of us. It's so exciting planting all these plants and hopeful that they're gonna grow. I'm guessing here now, because Bryson's our expert. He's kinda quirky. Okay, quirky. we're ready to go put this Plant in. Plant one, not coming. That's right there, we're not Some success. All right, Get on your first one, huh? Yay for the first one! Yeah. All of us were all rooting. Sure, we were. And um, and the pig is also rooting. Are you rooting? The old days when Bryson had his real small systems, mm -hmm. we would just drop seeds in there and they just pop up. So we thought, oh, well, let's put some seeds in there too. Try so. it out. Let's try one of these moringa trees. So we would take and I would add it in there. Did I just put one? Sure. Cover it up. A little bit. 
it would take to put in the smaller, oops, they don't fall through the bottom. Ooh, how tiny. Okay. Where'd they go? I don't know. This Starting is my moringa tree. Yeah, remember. It's so exciting planting all these plants. Look Canvas. at that root. I grow a root mustachio. Smells like dirt. You must water your mustachio. Brush it specially with a special brush. You also must put fertilizer on mustachio. Oh, so you have to put that on face? Yes, you do. A mustachio question? Yes. How long did it take you to grow your mustache? It took me 45 years. It was very hard to perfect. But now that it's this long, I will never cut it. I'm hopeful that they're gonna grow. I know a lot of them probably won't make it the first time around, but it's just fun to have that hope. We're already talking about possibly, you know, having to do a cover for it and that kind of stuff too. So we'll have to see how it goes. Yeah. I'm worried about all my babies. I feel like I've just sent them off to school for the first day. One of them's gotta live. There is no rule. But 74 of them, how could one not live? In the desert, one in 10 live. The sad thought that only seven out of 74 will live, but then it's also a happy thought because in our heads, everything can grow. Really excited about your design. I love this. A long piping that we put in. I think it's gonna be fun to harvest it because we're standing up and there's no bending over. I'm very excited about the design. A few days after we got the fish in the aquaponics system, we discovered they were not looking so good. They were all at the top of the surface breathing very hard. We know that that's a sign of oxygen loss. After it ran through the pipes and stuff, the water just wasn't aerated enough by the time it got back no. down to the fish. So we hopped in the car and made an emergency run into town. We got a couple of air stones. Elongated air stones, they're I'm not even really sure exactly what, but they go in here like that. Oh, okay, do they sink or? Yeah, they do. Oh, you put in that one too? Yep, two of them in this one, one in that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're liking the waterfall thing. So Bryson's gonna put a waterfall on this one too. So we got a new water pump. Yeah, new water pump. So hopefully these babies are gonna be doing better. We don't wanna lose our little fishies so soon. They seem to be more alive now, don't they? Yep. Some of them are swimming around a little more. After about 15 minutes, got everything installed, they were good again. Yeah, they were. The fish were gone. They were all like clustered right here. So to just not see any of them is a super good sign. We went all in. We got It's a water pump. We did. Underground. We bought a really large air pump. And that air pump is good for pumping water up into here. They have lots of oxygen into this tank. But then by the time it gets back around to the actual fish tank, there's not much oxygen there at all because it's already ran through the entire pipe. And we're also finding out that these tilapia fish like a lot of oxygen. Big tanks, so I guess that would be expected. So we want to use the air pump for what it's intended to do and switch this design out with a water pump. That would help everything. The piping is really, really cool. Unfortunately, it's just not gonna work with the water pump. It would work with the air pump, but we're not using that system anymore. So I have to pull out the pipes and add in the water pump hoses. Coming out. Uh-oh. Goodbye, peace. It was fun knowing you. It's okay. I want fish to live, so. There's a priority. Our flow is now dramatically increased. I'm hoping the pumping in the bottom like that will suck and create a current and draw any floaty things. And then that would pump it up to the solids filter. Yay! Oh, it's a good idea using the air pump that you have to aerate the tank. The water pump can move water. We decided our water is on a rainbow cycle. That was a kind of whitish, then it was a greenish, now it's brownish. It's really quite the fun rainbow cycle. We have developed a case of brown algae in the aquaponics system. I'm hoping that the brown algae will go away. They said that setting up a new system, you'll run across it eventually, but it will cycle out. You okay? I have no idea how to tell if they're alive or not. We found out that snails eat algae. So we went ahead and we got some red ram snails. Let's go ahead and take them out there. Oops. We weren't really sure if they were alive or not. We were kind of looking at it. So we contacted the seller and he was like, yeah, if they've got color, they're alive. Yeah, let's just put them in and see if we see them later. So like, oh, well, okay. So we tossed them in and we'll see what happens. Our son gets a little overly excited. It really made no exceptions for the new little greenies yeah, no, that it, we put into it, the system. It, it, fried um, them. it fried them. He was so excited. It was like, green, yay! <laughs> ah! These are just gonna fit pretty much in those. Those are every five feet. 
keep going down. We learned our lesson with the oh, yes. sun, so we decided to put a shade over the top. How's it going, guys? It's piping hot, but we're doing good. Are you feeling loopy? You don't have to. Yes. Is that storm gonna hit us? Because we really hope so. I hope so too. There's some lightning in there that was pretty intense. The, the rolling thunder. On this episode of My Little Homestead, we get 50% darker. At least the plants do. So we decided to cover it in a shade cloth. Of course, not me, the, the plants. But I have to admit, it's kind of nice under here. <gasps> Probably should start at this end. We've learned in our previous experience, <coughs> barn, things have to be pulled very tightly. If wind can move it, it will start whacking it, and the wind will just eat and destroy it. I think my husband's in here somewhere. I is. I think it, it's really nice and cool back here. It's amazing the difference of heat between here yeah. and just stepping out here. It is a surprisingly large difference. Down here? Yeah, probably down there. Up the I think we're just gonna bundle it up just like this. Wire it right to the thing like that. And tie it off like a loaf of bread. Okay. You don't think it's tight enough? Keep the wind from whipping it out of place. Now it's really cool. It's, it's really nice. If it had wheels, it'd be, a, it'd be a covered wagon at this point. Okay, we got this on, and I think our plants are loving it. Went out and got some pool noodles, because we now have water. Let's go swimming. <laughs> look, at, look at lizards, lizards. These noodles are going to go right on the top here on this metal to act as a cushion so that this net doesn't get caught and rip. Take a look here. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. There's a water bug in here. It's amazing how bugs find these things. Like I've never seen this in the desert. It's good eating. I'm here to support you, onion. Our son gets a little overly excited about anything that grows. And it, it really made no exceptions for the new little greenies yeah, no that idea. we put into the system. But this baby survived the, the boiling sun. This is a strong, brave plant. The peppers were actually loving the sun. They didn't do too badly. Look at this guy. He's strong. We yeah. got new plants this time around. We needed a round two. It's very exciting. Did you see our little blockades? Great idea, Mom. And yeah. also, everyone have a pool party. We have supplies. We got a comment that you should plant at night. And we're like, oh, okay. So we planted at night. And I don't think the plants skipped a beat. A little flower? A little flower bud? Yeah. Pamper your plants, people. It's Pamper great. Them. Look too. They look really good. Ooh. Isn't that any good? This is for <laughs> Grandpa. I'm filming this. I'm very excited. I sang to them the other day. I think it's helping. Oh, so lami, oh. We got a second pump. This one's actually a little bigger than the other one. We're gonna add this one in the other tank. Well, actually not that tank. We're gonna switch the two pumps, but basically we'll have two of these running in our system now. So we're really gonna amp the water flow up. But before we do that, I wanna know if our solids filter works. Ooh. How's it smell? Fishy. Go out of your favorite plant with that guck. Should I take this thing off? Yeah, let's see if Our we can do it. Our temporary fix. Wow, that's some flow, Bry. I love the looks of that, Bryson. Is that what you wanted? Yeah. It's like laminar flow too. You notice how like perfect it is and then it's frozen. All right, we got lots of flow. Good sign. Very cool. All right, this wraps this project up. There may be updates in the future, but for now, I think it's good. There'll probably be tilapia recipes. There might be some harvesting videos or fish harvesting videos or plant harvesting videos or munchy munchies. We'll see. Definitely clearing up. I can actually see the bottom of the tank in some areas. I love that water flow, Bryson. That is so fun. I do too. Maybe one day we'll actually see a snail. 
If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description.